Me, the Cajun Planeswalker. Uh, sorry for the delay in videos. It's been a crazy couple of weeks. But today, I got a Core 2021 booster box opening here for you. And let's just get right on into it. Nice, smooth cut. Alrighty. So how y'all been? I know it's been a while since I've uh, uploaded anything. Again, I apologize for that. Uh, if you've played Core 2021, or you know someone who's played Core 2021, how are you liking the new set? Is it enjoyable? Um, I've myself been playing quite a bit of it on Arena, uh, MTG Arena, and having a blast with it. I think it's a pretty fun set. I still don't think, you know, standard is where it needs to be, but that's a whole other discussion. These packs are kind of bubbly. I wonder what that's about. Anyway, let's get right on into it. Pack one, here we go. All oh, these are the, uh, they're done backwards so we can go a little bit faster videos here so we got Liliana's standard bearer all right uh chase pulls are uh Teferi obviously uh he's a you know, pretty pretty big one Ugin the spirit dragon would be really cool um heroic intervention is another good one ghostly Pilfer is not one, although I love the artwork of that card. Um, let's see, what else? Heroic Intervention, I believe I said that. Um, Grim Tutor. Grim Tutor would be a pretty awesome hit. There you go, Foil Doggo. The rambunctious mutt. He got it. He got whatever that is. Good for you, little buddy. Fire Emancipation for Mythic, number one. Uh, not really taken off at all in Standard, so we'll see where that goes in the future. Come on. Let's get something spicy here. Oop, that's right. It's already Temple of Epiphany. Thank so excited. All right. Well, they can't all be winners, right? <laughs> be something if they were like absolute god box pack leader, the goodest of dogs, the goodest of doggos. He's so proud. Um, as far as like the uncommons go, you have uh, Cultivate, but nothing really in the commons. They do have these alternate art border or alternate borders, which are pretty cool, but nothing too crazy in the uh, common slots. So. Uh, so there you go, uh, Chandra's Incinerator uh, in the showcase frame. Pretty cool for foil rare. And Volcanic Salvo. Okay. Uh, still no Cultivate. Hmm. Let's straighten these out real quick. Alrighty. bend in the that's all right the gobble wizard spark hunter masticor not exactly the card we want oh sanctum the shrines are back people shrines are back uh i actually built a shrine deck uh, on historic for arena it's a lot of fun uh, a lot of people don't like me for it, but you know what? That's their problem. Shacklegeist. 
There's another one of those shrines. Miscast is actually a pretty, uh, pretty good card. Don't know what it's going for, but pretty good card. Yeah. And that's it on that one. Already about a third away through the box, and nothing really too too crazy. Like this box needs to step it up. There you go to fairy's tutelage, but not exactly what we want. Come on, box, step it up a bit. Where's oh Ugin? Can we pull an Ugin. Ooh, we did get the fancy island. Very nice. Do like those and sanctum of all. Yep. Eliminate. That's not a bad uncommon. Uh, it's a little dry box. Come on. And foil rares ruined halo. Not the foil rare you want. Nine lives. Probably one of the most flavorful cards in the set. All the kitties. All the little cats. But again, not worth a whole, whole lot. I don't know if anybody's like really made that card work in standard or in any other format. I've, I play a lot of commander or EDH. And... Um, I've never seen anybody use it. Spore Web Weaver, if you go check out uh, Bad Boy Gaming on YouTube, he has a deck tech with this that does an infinite combo, so that's pretty cool. Rewind, an old Urza Saga reprint. It's always nice to see the old stuff get reprinted. Okay, Thornwood Falls. Sad Robot! Oh, solemn simulacrum, and what's this? What we do? What do we have here? Oh, <laughs> oh yes! Look at that! Pulled massacre worm extended. There you go. There's the spice we need. I didn't realize you can get both a rare and that in the same uh, same pack. There's a cultivate. Wow, what a pack. Jeez. Alright, alright. It's not a bad way to start the second stack of packs here. Then we got Crash Through. Alright, and Teferi's Ageless Insight. That's not a bad card. I'll run one of these in my commander decks for uh, Niv Mizzet. So yeah, not a bad card. Not a bad card. Also, I've been thinking about, uh, you know, since buying and opening a lot of sealed product is not the most cost to, ooh, foil Tormod script. That's actually really cool. Uh, it's not the most cost productive. I was thinking, like, what else do y'all want to see on the channel? I was thinking, like, doing deck techs or news stories about what's going on in Magic. I know a lot of creators do that already. Uh, it just something different, something fun. Uh, let me know in the comments. Please comment. Uh, I want to hear from you. There you go. That's a big hit. Elder Gargoyle. This dude puts in work. Five drop, six, six. Already done. Vigilance Reach Trample. When he attacks or blocks, do one of these things. Absolutely bonkers card. Very good pull. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you want to see? Uh, do you? I can go through some of my decks that I've built. Uh, I can cover the news stories. I uh, do some research and tell you what's going on. Let me know. Uh, please remember to also like the video, share it with your friends. Uh, I do enjoy doing these. I know I haven't been doing it uh, very often. Uh, and I, again, apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, let, let me know. Just say something. I am up for uh, ideas. Alright. Oh, no, 
Wowza. Let's go. Uh, ooh, Sabira. Tolzitty. Tolzitty? I think that's how you say it. Tolzitter. Is it Tolzitter? It's a Tolzitty. What? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, there you go. Pitch burn devils. Old uh, Innistrad card, I believe. Getting the reprint. And my, my Maze Mind Tome. Love the artwork on that. Who did that? Randy Galagos? Well done, Mr. Randy. Well done. There you go. Chandra's Pyreling. that out the way so I don't hit it. Oh yes, Truffle Snout, the goodest of pigs. He's so proud of himself for carrying the basket. <laughs> Look at me. Yes, the good the goodest of pigs. And this is him when he gets angry. <laughs> don't make there you go, containment priest. Good little reprint there. So don't make don't make the pig angry. Come on, box. Don't make the pig. Don't make Truffle Snout angry. Let's get some. Let's get some more. Some more big pulls. A foil blood cave. Blood fell caves is not one of those big pulls. And Chandra's Incinerator, not a bad card. Pretty neat in those Red Rush decks. Another Tormod script. Pretty good card. Ugh, meteorite, absolute trash card. Meteorite's the card that they put in when they don't know what else to put into the set. And they just need a filler. Nyambi, uh, Teferi's daughter, for a little bit of lore. So that's pretty cool. Okay, okay. It's the end of the second stack of packs. See the truth. Well, my truth is that this box is not that great. <laughs> oh well. We're having fun, aren't we? I really need to get better at my commentating. What do you think? <laughs> it's alright. Bastard's Lieutenant. I have a bunch of these already. Uh, from like doing the like, sealed events. Just very neat. Are we ready to go? Not to cultivate. Um, but it's just... This doesn't need have the support it needs right now. So we'll see. There you go. Another one of those gorgeous islands. A volcanic geyser foil. Okay. And necromentia. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Look at the good doggo. Hmm. So that so far that Massacre Worm and Gargareth are their, our best pulls and it's only three mythics, so I don't know if we'll get any more. But man. Joriel, uh, keep an eye on this one. She's actually jumping up a little bit in price. Uh, a lot of people starting to use her. Not a bad not a bad card at all. But I'm getting kinda worried we're getting close to the end here uh temple of milady not exciting i can't believe they keep reprinting the temples like give us wizards give us like good dual lands good multicolored lands not temples can you stop with the temples please like come on reprint the fetch lands <clears throat> Oh, there you go. Foil Heroic Intervention. Not bad. That's three foil rares. There you go. And Thieves Guild Enforcer. Not the best of cards, but I love this artwork. I'm actually, like, collecting these, so I'm actually pretty thankful to get this from Miss Evan Fong. Well done. Well done. 
love that art. Oh, made a mess. I moved it so I wouldn't knock it over, and I knocked it over anyway. And knock the camera over, shake it up a little bit. Wouldn't be a Cajun Planeswalker video without the camera falling now, would it? <laughs> I thought I had it pretty good standing this time. Oh, well, there you go. Fabled Passage. Can't believe this card's already gotten a reprint. Like, it was just printed two sets ago. Already gets a reprint. Oh, wrong pile. There we go. But I always thought it was overpriced when it first was released. Uh, Fable Passage, that is. And it's gone down a lot, especially because of the reprint. So at least it makes it a little bit more affordable to actually use. Which is Cauldron. The card that should have been printed instead of that stinking Witch's Oven. That cat deck nonsense. This is the card they should have put in instead. Place this. Get rid of get rid of the oven. Ban the oven. Idol of Endurance. Neat little card. Yes, please ban the oven. Oh man. Alright, come on. There you go. Showcase mountain. And Chandra, look at that. It's the Chandra pack. <laughs> hey, there she is in all of her fieriness. She is the heart of fire. Not a bad card. Alrighty. Just uh, four more packs to go. Just trying to keep this under 20 minutes. Looks like we're going to be cutting it close. Arada, Heart of Keld. And that's all she wrote on that one. I didn't know Rada was an elf. There you have it. Elf Tribal. Always a powerhouse. This one doesn't want to open. There we go. Alright, got it. The Demon. Scoured Barons, Pursued Whale, another one of those flavorful cards in the set. It's basically Moby Dick, so pretty funny on that one. Uh, not much going on. Alrighty, two packs left. Ooh. I've done these a while. Uh, my voice is getting tired. <laughs> Plus, I didn't sleep well. Sleep well last night uh that might be playing a role as well forgotten sentinel sent sentinel i can not english my gosh he looks so sad oh they left me sad day feline sovereign miss sassy cat for those who want to build that cat tribal deck i've seen a few of them uh, this is actually a pretty good card. Pretty good uncommon. Wildwood Scourge. Might put that in one in my Hydra deck. Alrighty, last pack. Uh, thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Cage Planeswalker. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, you know, tell your friends about me. Tell me what you want to see me do in future videos. There we go. There's a beautiful showcase swamp and a bane slayer angel here you go for mythic number five all right not bad not a bad box there you go rewind again not a bad box not a great box either um yeah that's it so this has been the Cage of Planeswalker, and I will see you guys next time.